Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle in this match against Dang. I have the late Ottoman Turks against the latest Polish list. Uh, I hosted this match because there is a forum thread on the Slewing forum about how this matchup is really, really hard. Um, this is not supposed to be a gotcha, look, I did it thing. I think this is a really tough matchup. I'm just curious to see if I can find a way to pull it off. So the Polish list uh, has winged hussars, so impact mounted, and all of its cavalry are also pistol melee, which is up 100 POA against its swordsman melee, which is what I have. In addition, the Polish list does not have pike and shot units, but it does have musketeers armed with either, either heavy weapon or swordsmen, so not dissimilar to the Janissaries, which are musket swordsmen. Uh, the Hydex are above average, the veteran Janissaries are superior, so not too different. The Polish list also has a strong light cavalry wing. So, as match host, I get the bottom of the map, and obviously we are putting our guns here. I got all four light cavalry to match them. They'll spread out on the wings. I have plenty of additional cavalry, including two more of the highly superior Sipahis of the Porte. Uh, they still can't really face Polish cavalry on open ground unless they have first been disrupted, but at least they can pass cohesion checks. I maxed on infantry, including the 24-point Azops. I mean, these are a great buy. They can disrupt cavalry pretty effectively. They just need to stay hidden in forests or rough or something like that. Tefechis. Our light infantry, I got one additional one, just so they can have one in each forest, and some poorly armed levies because I had some points left over. Uh, they're probably just going to hide. Okay, here's our deployment. Get our guns up on this giant hill. Hopefully get them deployed soon. In fact, I might just go ahead... It's not completely terrible. We could turn these medium guns, well, better yet, the heavy guns to sweep the field. Medium guns can keep moving up. Our cheap Azop archers and some Janissaries and our light infantry to hold the forest. The non-lights to hold this 100 height hill, which they should be able to do, especially with the bit of rough ground on top. Or the armed levies into the forest, one unit of Tamariot Spahis in reserve. Then we have our veteran Janissaries and some Janissaries facing the rough. They don't have to go there. More Janissaries, our best cavalry in the center, our Tamariots behind lights with our Janissaries heading towards this rough patch. So we will see what Dang brings for Force Comp. Okay, Let's see that Force Comp. And deployment. All in on the cavalry. Fine, I'm going to stay facing forward so we can get into the rough ground. Okay. 
Oh, line of sight's blocked by the archers. Well, we can fix that pretty quick. Do we pop you out? Not yet. I'll try as much as possible to engage first with the infantry. Good start. Next turn we'll unlimber. Maybe we do it now. Is there a field of fire here once the units are out of the way? You know what? Good enough. Next turn. very bad. Well, one unit's gonna get trampled. And yeah, that's a problem. So we're gonna. That's very well done. So we got sucked into this open ground. Or this rough ground. Take cover for the cavalry, and now we're exposed to the infantry. Nothing much we can do about it, though. That helps a little. Then what? Can we hit here? Damn. We're in rough ground here at least. Good. He'll just run them off. It's not really a big deal. Uh well, that's all we can do, but they're probably going to get run down. What a shame. Who do we go for here? Horse? Winged Hussars? Hussars are rather dangerous. rough. Neutralizes the Hussars, at least temporarily. <sighs> now we're going to have to eat bullets to the face, unless we want to do that. I'll eat the bullets to the face. Alright, take cover. Good. Ride past. It's time to be very irritating. Good. And yeah, yeah, right past. Hmm. 
Let's see if we can't try to slip in behind. We have five to three. We might be able to make that be enough. Okay, so next turn we can start shooting with these three units. That is cavalry, just nibble at them. Do I go for that? That's probably worth it. Highly superior. Okay, so this is scary. These Azops might just break right away. It would probably take a pretty miraculous roll to have to bounce this, unfortunately. Interesting game of lawn chess. It's probably a little more than interesting for the guys involved, but it has been. Let's see if, oh great, let's see if we get shoved off this hill right away or if it takes a bit. that charge. We bounce that charge, but the Azaps are going to get broken up. Good. Ah, that little bit of extra firepower from the Dragoons could do us in. Bounce with the rough ground, good. Bounce with your disrupted, good. This will be the decisive turn. Okay, we held up fragged, which is all we needed. So, next up. They hold firm, too bad. Oh, go for that flank. And they hold firm again. They are very tough units. Good, a frag. So what can we do with that? Let's find out. Disruption of the Hussars, although that is not the best situation. That means we need to bring up the infantry to try to rectify that. Tempting. Well, instead, they hold firm. Push forward. Do we turn to try to... No, we can't because of that lock. So we just go for the route and hope they disrupt, which they do not. Well, at least we have veterans. Okay, then what? We have more Tamarius Pahis available. They will push to go for those flanks. In the meantime, what do we do? Try to draw fire with their lights? It's kind of suicidal. Hmm. Draw some fire then. Not surprisingly, they hold firm. Let's stay in the rough, but shoot at... Oh, I don't want to turn, because if we turn to shoot, these guys might pursue into us. So instead, frag those guys. Uh, lock them in just to be annoying. This whole situation, 
We can get this flank in, but... Oh, you screwed up, sir. You screwed up. Yeah, you did. Okay, great. Next up. Shoot. And shoot. Get that flank in. Do we go for it? I guess we have to, because otherwise we might just lose those guys. And this way, we have a chance to push on. Great. Well. That was fantastic. Now what do we do? Let's get light lancers. Ah, messed that up. Oh well. Looks like they're gonna hold firm, huh? Yep. Well, the situation here is a little unfortunate, but otherwise we're doing very well with those cavalry flanks. So dang, saying well done, uh, got caught out on some flanks that he didn't initially notice and that, that's all it takes to lose the game. Yeah, uh, one mistake, two mistakes and it can be done. Hold firm. Yes, okay. Lose the guns. Impact, but it, they're already disrupted, I believe, so yeah. Here, we're down swordsmen versus melee pistols, but we do have superiors, so that should help things a bit. Hmm. Oh. Heavy weapon impact versus swords, but no impact. Combine that with disruption and we frag. Setting up a flank. I don't know if I'll be able to prevent that. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do to secure victory. Well, I could just fire here, but I think I would rather work on these dragoons. Let's just hide and wait to rally or pop out and shoot behind them if they realign. Same with our poorly armed levies, get ready to charge back out. You're doomed, so won't do anything with them yet. Really? Damn, alright. Well, get that flank in. No zone of control here because they're dragoons and thus light troops. Winged hussars hold firm, not a huge surprise. Here, turn, and fire for the disruption. Flank, they break. Ah, uphill. Hmm. Okay, then what? Well, let's just uh, pile on and hope they break in the melee phase before you can charge. No, you don't. 
and we can at least try to counter charge. Okay, then what? They hold firm. All right. Throw in a flank. And that's everything. Next turn. There's that break and disruption on the guns. Good. Horse holds firm though. that flank we couldn't prevent. Eh, could have been worse. Drops our lead to 17. Okay, so we still have work to do then. Bit risky staying here. What else can we do? We've already come out of cover. We score a disrupt with the downslope like this is really horrendous. Uh, let's try to. Huh. Could move here and try to shoot them to break them? Seems pretty unlikely. Let's discharge. That should force them to turn. Here, let's score the disruption. Good. Then fire and charge in. And I should have fired here first, but too late. Prepare the flank attack. Move towards the main action. Same with you. All right, more casualties to come here, I'm afraid. All right, and we've got the end game. Interesting. What does that do for us? Nothing. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, don't make mistakes exposing your flanks. But the main thing was using a relatively smaller number of points to hold key terrain to slow what did end up being a successful assault. 
And Dang did a really nice job luring me into this rough that he knew I would go for and then popping out of the forest with his hydex that I did not know were there. Maybe I didn't know they were there because I wasn't paying attention or maybe they started concealed there. But anyway, I got stuck in an awkward situation of having to push into musket shot to make it to the rough ground to cower from the Polish cavalry because you cannot stand in the open against Polish cavalry without pikemen and I do not have pikemen. So, a good game to Dan, as always. And, until next time.